The Detroit Lions made a signing to beef up that tight end position. Let's begin. What's going on, YouTube? This is Mr. Mike or Mike, and today we're going to be talking about the Lions signing tight end Darren Fells, what it means for the team, the depth of the tight end core, are we good to go, and all that. And if you're not a subscriber, smash that subscribe button, dropping content every single day, everything, news and rumors regarding our Detroit Lions, as well as this, smash that like button. Let's get to 200 likes in this video. Let's just go ahead and talk about it. Darren Fells is 35 years old, 8 years experience, weight of 270 pounds, and he's 6'7". Height. Now, I don't know if you remember, but he actually played for the Detroit Lions a couple of years ago and did very good. And he had stints with the Seattle Seahawks, the Arizona Cardinals, and of course the Detroit Lions, a little bit with the Cleveland Browns, and last up in the Houston Texans. Darren Fells is definitely used as more of a tight end who can move the pocket when regards to run block, as well as he can make plays in the aerial attack. He is a multi-dimensional tight end with the lions in 2017 he had 17 receptions 177 yards three touchdowns in 16 games not too bad with cleveland he was a three-year contract there he played 16 games 11 starts recording 11 receptions 117 yards and three touchdowns we goes to his stats last year when it comes to the houston texans he played in 16 games 21 receptions, 312 yards, and four touchdowns. Again, yeah, you're looking at the touchdown saying this is not that much. Remember, you got to understand that he's a number two tight end as well as he does good at the run blocking position. He does good what he's asked to do. Hit that like button, folks. Let's get this video up to 200 likes in this video. See if we can go ahead and beat the legacy media. They're a juggernaut. I'm just one guy. The more likes we get, the more chance that that gets out. It is Detroit versus everybody here. And so far as that, look, I think it's a perfectly fine idea to go ahead and sign him up. Considering the fact that the Lions had a surprise retirement out of the tight end they signed this year, just a couple months ago, out of New Orleans Saints, Josh Hill. So we got to have a veteran back there that can help and be a good complement to TJ Hawkinson. And I think it's vital that we do get a veteran that can do that because let's go ahead and look at the depth chart here. The depth chart now, you got TJ Hawkinson, number one, in which we all know he's a special player, but Darren Fells replaces Josh Hill should be a good number two and then but we look after this who's legitimately going to be the number three is it going to be Hunter Bryant possibly we also sign Elise Mack he could be a tight end there Hunter Thudford Jake Huseman and Brock Wright so after Darren Fells the tight end quality drops a little bit so it's important to get a veteran because these guys are young Hunter Bryant's young Elise Brock Jake and Hunter or all young so let's get a veteran presence and that's exactly what they did and it's important to have a decent compliment to tj hawkinson no doubt about it it doesn't have to be the guy that catches every single ball but it needs to be a guy that can make sure that tj hawkinson can get open and have a respected another tight end with the lions at the number two spot because if you look last year with jesse james no one respected his game he was absolutely doing nothing for the team, and it hurt us big time. So it's important to get a guy like Darren Fells to do the compliment going forward for the Lions. Overall, in the tight end position, I think when it comes to throughout the season, I think you're going to see similar numbers to what we've seen in years past. When it comes to Darren Fells, I think he's just going to run block. But can he get to around 200, maybe 300 yards? It's possible. I think he can get 300 yards for this football team if Jared Goff decides to throw it his way if he gets open we have a whole different scheme a whole different quarterback so it's not necessarily going to be the scene what we've seen in years past with number nine and Daryl Bevel they always targeted TJ Hawkinson but man oh man they never went after Jesse James so hopefully with this new scheme Anthony Lynn will utilize Darren Fell's services and maybe Hunter Bryan as well so overall I'm going to give this signing a B signing. Not overly too good, not too bad, but Darren Fells is a nice number two. Good compliment. He's a little old in the tooth, but given the circumstances that they had a retirement out of nowhere, they had to put somebody in there. I would like to kind of look a little bit at the wide receiver depth of well because that is important to see 
you know, what the tight end is working with, what TJ Hawkinson and now what Darren Fells is working with, and to see what type of receptions that Fells could be used at. Look, we got Tyrell Williams and Brashard Perryman. They're the fast guys. They're going to be on the, out, on the outside, so kind of replicating what Kenny Galladay did there with Marvin Jones Jr., obviously not the same production. I'm just talking about skill set at the position. Cephas could be in the middle, so he could take a little bit of the receptions away if they decide to throw it to Darren Fells, because I think he's going to be doing a lot of route running in the middle is really be going. Amon Ross St. Brown, he can be utilized all over the field. I think he could take away some of the receptions as well and be a, a contributor in that fact. And Damian Ratley and Khalif Raymond doesn't do a whole lot when it comes to the perspective. And if you look at the other guys here, they're probably not can even have any influence right now when it comes to 2020. This would be more of a 2022, so it's not going to have any real effect on the Lions. But we are noticing something when it comes to the wide receiver cores as well as the tight end is go ahead and grade this signing. This one is simple, A, B, C, D, or F. Let me know what you guys think about the signing of Darren Fells. Me, I'm going to give it a strong B. I think a B is perfectly fine. And it really does exactly what they need to do is get an individual that can help stop the run and get catches if need be. But I'm just one person and I want to know what you guys think. So let's turn this channel into a forum and let's get the, the communication going because it's your, your guys' channel. It's you guys run it. And it's important that whoever sees this understands what the fan base thinks. So let me know. Comment A, B, C, D, or F. The Detroit Lions are trying to get individuals that can run block. Wide receivers as well as tight ends. You're seeing it now with Amon Ross St. Brown. You're seeing it with Darren Fells. They want to run the football, so bringing in another guy that can do it is a good philosophy for Anthony Lynn's type of offense. Run the football and make sure that you get those other pieces like tight ends and wide receivers that can help run block. Why? Because you can turn a 5-yard gain into a 20-yard gain, and that would be fan-freaking-tastic. So I have no problem getting individuals that are more run-blocking first and specialize in that, and that's exactly what we have on offense. That's exactly what we brought in with Darren Fells, and obviously we already know TJ Hawkinson can do it. So we're starting to see the philosophy going forward, and it makes sense. So he doesn't have to be the guy in the passing, but it, he's going to be good at run blocking. So I can't wait to see this run offense. That's what Darren Fells is going to help out. This run offense is getting bigger. It's getting stronger. It's getting more physical. And we're going to be able to run the football in 2021. And add on, on to this a little bit as the tight end position as a whole. We need to understand the Detroit Lions are in a rebuild slash retool mode. And right now, it's doing a lot of roster turnover. So you're seeing all these individuals signed regarding the tight ends and pretty much every position on there. This is not going to be the end-all, be-all. When it comes to Darren Fells, this is a one-year deal. And I'm sure eventually they'll look for a more competent number two. Or maybe Hunter Bryant can jump in there and eventually be a complement number two. We got to be able to get all sorts of roster spots on this football team filled. And when we had in the NFL draft, we only had seven draft picks. It was initially six, but we traded back. This roster was in a world of hurt. We had to get rid of a lot of people and acquire draft picks to replenish those holes that was there. Plus, the team was bad already, so you're dealing with a double deficit. So when it comes to filling the gap or filling the hole with a Darren Fells type of individual or a veteran stopgap, that's all you can really expect out of it, in my opinion. Just this last regime really hurt this football team. Extremely hurt this football team on all positions. Our last tight end, number two, Jesse James, big contract who did absolutely nothing big. He was literally non-existent. And this is the type of situation that Brad Holmes and Dan Campbell are having to deal with. And so... When looking at this roster myself and looking at the tight end position myself, I understand these circumstances that they were given a raw deal and it's going to take a long time, two to three years, to get this roster to look very good. 
because you just can't go ahead and draft tight ends every single year. It's not going to do that. It, it, it's just not going to help out the rest of the roster. You got defense. I mean, th- I mean that that's the way it works. You only got so many picks you can do in an NFL draft, and so I don't mind getting the stopgap. I don't mind getting the player that's going to hold the fort down for one year who's 35 years old on a a low contract. I'm perfectly fine with that. And I think pretty much when it comes to every roster spot right now, I think we need to realize the absolute truth is that we got to be patient. And I understand being patient is not something the Lions fans want to do because we have been dealing with this, but this is a rebuild slash retool mode. And it's important to lower the expectations a little bit, understand the hand that was given to this regime, and just hope for the best. But what do you guys think? Do you think it was a good idea to bring Darren Fells back to the Detroit Lions? Comment and let me know. Why for yes and for no. And we will see what you guys think. I think it's a fine signing. Give them the circumstances. Not too bad. In the upcoming videos, we got the One Pride podcast on my channel at 6.30 p.m., on Thursday, every single Thursday. And if you're new to the channel, we do live mailbag segment where you got questions and we have answers. So make sure you come to the show, have some fun. It's all about just kicking back, listening some good old Lions talk, give it a different perspective. We have a panel on there and we like to be interactive on that show. Also, I got videos dropping every single day. So make sure you have your notification bell so you don't miss out on the latest news and rumors regarding our Detroit Lions.